David here with Figboot on Pens, back again with another video. Today I have for you something very different. Um, I decided it was about time to give my office here a bit of a renovation and thought that it might be interesting to document the process. You know how in your home there tends to be that one place you hang out more than any other place? Uh, for me, it's my office here. Uh, this is my home office, my man cave, my entertainment center, my pen room, call it what you will. But I would say that this is where I spend most of my time when I'm at home. Uh, it's functional, but over time, as I have acquired more and more things, it's become more and more cluttered and less organized. It was time for a change. Uh, the impetus for this change was that I was recently contacted by a company uh, by the name of FlexiSpot, um, who, among other office supplies, sell a very nice lineup of motorized standing desks. They offered to send me one of their desks at no cost, and I decided to implement that as my main desk. So, a good portion of this review will be talking about this FlexiSpot standing desk and its features and options, as well as showing the assembly process. But I'm also going to show what I did to rearrange and revamp my office to, in order to declutter things and stay better organized. Now, this is not going to be an HGTV major reveal renovation, but hopefully you'll notice the changes. And I have to say, so far, I've been pleased with the results. Uh, to begin with, let's take a quick look at how things are currently laid out. And in order to do so, I took a little tour video. So this is my current setup. Uh, this is the desk that you see behind me whenever I shoot. Uh, and as you can see, it's just turned into kind of a cluttered mess. Uh, and so I just wanted to kind of show the before of what everything is now. Uh, and then hopefully there'll be some major improvements once we are done. Uh, so over here, we have my main battle station. We have a cabinet here from Ikea. This is going to stay, but I just kind of have a lot of stuff up on top that it just really has collected over the years. Uh, and then inside as well is not very organized. Everything is just kind of thrown in there. That needs to get organized as well. Then we have the main battle station here. Again, things have just started to pile up on top. Uh, we have the two monitors. Uh, we have the Jackals mug for all you Jackals out there. Uh, I do have two computers. I have my main computer, which is the one on the right, which is more colorful, and my secondary computer on the left. Uh, how I have this set up is that when I only have my main computer on, it uh, has dual monitors. And then when I turn the second one on, then it takes over a uh, one of the uh, monitors, so one computer for each. And so sometimes it's helpful to have two different machines running. Uh, over here, I have my TV, uh, and then I have a little side table here, which pretty much just gets used uh, to hold the consoles. There's a PS4 and an Xbox One X over here. Um, over here is a little side table. Actually, it's like a kitchen table that holds some pen storage and just a monitor that's over here now. Here is a picture of Poppy, and then here is a picture of Jenny that a viewer uh, gave me, which I appreciated and felt it was really nice. Uh, then over here, I have a desk that I had been using as my working desk when I was working from home. Uh, it has a couple of monitors on it. Uh, and then lately, I just a bunch of stuff has been piling up behind here, because if it's piled up behind there and you don't see it, then it doesn't exist, right? See, it's nice and clean, but then you look back here and it's just kind of a trash pile that I've had back there. Um, we have two printers. You really don't need two printers. Basically, I had one printer that uh, we needed to replace, and that's the one on the right. Uh, and then we bought a nice new one on the left, and we were using the old one until like all of the uh, printer ink was done. And now that's done, we can dispose of that. There's a little cabinet here. It's where I keep some backpacks and some storage. Uh, and then over here, I have a lot of other storage. The, these are uh, Alex cases from Ikea. The one on the far right uh, on the bottom is all full of ink, and the one on the left is full of supplies. Um, I'm actually going to have a couple of other cabinets here that are going to take the place of that uh, filing cabinet here. They're going to stack on top of each other for some additional storage. Uh, then we have this wooden toolbox, and as you can see, things kind of pile up as I'm working on reviews. Uh, there is some ink that I need to review. 
We have my garbage can I have to keep up high so a dog doesn't eat out of it. Uh, and then we have one of my favorite possessions, which is from Toyoka Craft, which is this rolling desk. Um, I, I use this for all of my correspondence supplies um, and also whenever I do my writing samples. This is a camera two. I go ahead and put everything on top of here and move this out. But this is just a really cool desk with drawers that slide out and slide to the side. It's really useful and helpful and something that I I really like from them. So that is, gives you an idea of the before and hopefully when we're done we'll see a drastic look and we'll, things will open up a lot more and look, look uh, a lot more clean and clear and precise. So you know when you get a really good deal on one thing and that you end up spending a lot more money than you had originally anticipated? Uh, yeah, that's what happened to me with this renovation. Um, I kept thinking to myself, if I do this, then I'll need to do that. And if I'm doing that, then I might as well do this other thing. Um, it's like that scene from Malcolm in the Middle where Hal starts off by trying to fix a light bulb and uh, progressively finds more and more things to do. And within a few minutes, he's replacing the engine in his car. Well, it wasn't that bad, but you get the idea. Uh, okay, first thing I needed to do was to disassemble my battle station. Um, I, as I was taking everything apart, uh, it really only emphasized to me how much I needed to declutter. I just had little junk everywhere. Uh, but the computers were moved as well as the desk, leaving room for the new edition, the FlexiSpot Pro Plus E7 standing desk. Uh, as you can see here, I just had a rat's nest of cords and wires under my desk. Uh, it was on the verge of being a fire hazard. Uh, you could also see the little green stain on the floor where a few years ago during a review of Colorverse Schrodinger and Cat, I proceeded to spill virtually an entire bottle of ink on my lap, desk, and floor. Uh, thankfully, that's only my only uh, major incident to date. Okay. Let's talk about the FlexiSpot standing desk. Um, I selected the 60 by 30 inch model, so it was a bit larger than my previous desk. It arrives in two boxes, one for the base and one for the top. It took me about an hour to assemble. I wasn't rushing things. I wanted to make sure I got everything together correctly. Um, I found the directions to be easy to follow and all of the parts went together just fine. I never found myself having to finagle any parts to get them to fit together to work. The base comes in either black or white. Um, if I was to use only one word to describe this desk, I would say solid. Um, it's not overly heavy, but it is very sturdy. Um, I'd recommend leaving the top in the box while attaching the base. Uh, that way the desktop doesn't get scratched by the floor when you're moving it around during assembly. Uh, this desk is powered by two motors. There's one in each leg. Uh, each of the motors plug into the base unit as well as the power cord and the cord to the control panel. Um, I appreciated that there was a, a little sliding cover that fit on top of everything to contain all of the cords. And here is the desk. I think the bamboo looks pretty sharp. It's nice and smooth and I, I like the thin lines. I also care for the vertical edging. The contrast between the pieces of bamboo almost uh, look like a color gradient. Um, here's a look at the legs and the portion that expands and contracts. Um, I really like that there really aren't large gaps around the edges, which over time would collect dust and grime and potentially muck up the motor. I think it just looks really clean. Uh, and then here's the control panel. Uh, you can mount it on either the left or right side of the desk. I chose the right side. And they're pre-drilled holes to help you place it in the correct spot. Uh, there is a little play in there, so you could have it sitting a bit further out or slightly deeper under the desk if you'd like. I chose to have it right on the edge. The controls are pretty simple to use. On the left, there is up and down, as well as the memory slash lock button, which you use to set the four programmable buttons on the right. Um, I like that there are pictures of standing up and sitting down, so I don't need to remember which number I've set for a particular height. I have those two buttons set, and then I have number one set to be just about four inches higher for when I need just a little bit more access room for my computers. Um, at first, I was concerned the motor would be a bit loud since it is so heavy duty, um, but here's a little bit of audio of it. Uh, 
I find it to be an acceptable volume. I wouldn't categorize it as quiet, but it's not overly loud either. Um, I do like that it shows you the desk height. Um, I checked with a measuring tape and found that it is spot on. Um, I also like that you can lock the controls. Um, I did have someone sitting next to me at the desk once and it's really easy for them to inadvertently lean up against the controls and make the desk move. So locking it down with a long press on that uh, block button is a really nice feature. Um, I also like the USB port on the side, which is really convenient for charging. Um, I find it convenient when you have those items that only need occasional charging. Um, I mentioned it before, but this desk is very sturdy at all height, and the motors are very strong. They're rated to hold up to 350 pounds. Uh, here I am testing that out. I am far from 350 pounds, uh, but the motor still raised and lowered me with ease. So I have confidence that the weight of my equipment and computers that I loaded on the desk would not pose any problems at all. Uh, the desk does come with a 15-year warranty. I mean, that's a long warranty for a desk. Um, I did pick up a couple of accessories. There was this clamp strip with three plugs and a standard USB, as well as a USB-C outlet. Um, I really like that these plugs are a bit far apart. Um, I use this for my phones, and it's always frustrating when a charging brick covers up an adjacent plug of, in a strip, rendering it useless. Um, I also like that it's in the far back of the desk, so I barely even notice it's there. It doesn't feel like I have a power strip on top of the desk. It really integrates nicely. Um, I also picked up this cable management tray. It was simple enough to install, uh, but for this accessory, there really weren't any pre-drilled holes. They did, however, provide you a little cardboard guide that you could use when you uh, needed to make the holes. You can see here I have a power strip in there where I have my monitors plugged in. One of my regrets during assembly was I waited until the desk was fully assembled and upright to attach this tray. It would have been much easier to do so when it was upside down. Though I did find that uh, it was really convenient to raise and lower the desk while I was working under it. Um, I also included a couple of drawers which uh, can be installed under the desk. I haven't installed either of them yet. I kind of wanted to live with the desk for a little while in order to determine the best place for one of these. Uh, there was one in black and the other one is in bamboo. Uh, there was also this nice bamboo desk organizer. Uh, FlexiSpot offers a two monitor stand, but I wanted to have a three monitor set up, so I picked up this stand as well as three new 27 inch monitors. Um, I got tons of use out of my old 24 inch monitors, but I had them for probably 12 years. Uh, they weren't even Visa compatible, so I couldn't mount them even if I tried. Um, after everything was assembled, this is the final product. I find myself mainly using this desk sitting, but a couple of times a night, I find myself wanting to stretch my legs a bit, so it's really easy to raise the desk and continue to work or watch or play, whatever I might be doing. Uh, it's really easy to adjust the top to the ergonomic height that's really best for you. There is also a safety feature where if there is something under the desk, it will stop before too much pressure is applied. You know, I've really been pleased with the FlexiSpot E7 desk. Uh, it is very well built. It is sturdy and solid and looks pretty sharp. If you are interested in checking out one of these desks, there is a link to their site in the notes below. If you use the code FOP50 during checkout, you'll receive $50 off of any order over $500. They're currently having a President's Day sale, so with that sale in conjunction with a discount, these desks would be well worth checking out. Okay, we had the before office tour. Uh, let me take you on an after tour to show you how everything ended up working out. Okay, here we have the final look. I decided to do this during the daylight so we might have a little bit more light in here. You can see I picked up a new chair. Let's get that out of the way so we can see things. Um, you can see here that I cleaned off the top here. I still need to clean out the cabinet itself, but I have my nice new three 27 inch monitors. I do have my two computers, so I have this set up to where the one computer when it's on is on the left hand monitor and the other two are on the other monitor. But if I come down here and hit a button, then it will switch. Here in a second, there we go, and all three are on the one computer. 
Now, I've done a few things here with the desk itself. Um, I do have my Dudek cubes, which I really love. Uh, I got a couple of new speakers. Um, I have a couple of new um, charging stations for my phones. I have two, one for work and one for non-work. Uh, I got a couple of storage solutions from Toyoka Craft, which I, I think are amazing. Um, or Toyo Craft. Uh, that I just wanted things that looked sleek and I wanted to just keep things away. Um, I really like this one because it has a drawer which when it is sitting here the drawer opens up but if you lift it up the drawer will not open and that's because on the back here there is a little trigger that stops it from doing so. So if I want to move this from one desk to another uh, the stuff that's inside is not a risk for coming down or falling out. Um, also I got something else from Toyocraft which is this little um, pen rest here. Um, and what I found to use it for is I have something that's a prized possession of mine that I really love and I really like using, but it's always put away in a box, and that is this Graffon Faber Castell letter opener. It has a really nice leather handle, uh, and I think that it's uh, nice just sitting out there. Um, also, I have my Good Made Better uh, pen well there. Uh, then I have my nice mouse pad or, and, uh, and keyboard, which will switch between the two computers and the two mice. Over here on the side, I have a couple of pairs of headsets. One is Bluetooth and then one is um, wired for when I'm doing audio and there's no uh, latency. Um, I also picked up a brand new UPS, which has 12 outlets in the back. And uh, yes, we're getting a contribution from Jenny here. Uh, a really nice UPS, which uh, I needed to condense down because I had a couple of units and thought I could condense down to one uh, and was able to do so. Over here on the side, you can see that I have the uh, the Xbox as well as the uh, the uh, PlayStation here, kind of almost hidden away. And this is my side, we'll call it work desk. So when I'm working from home, I have a docking station here. This is the drawer that came with my uh, FlexiSpot desk. For right now, I'm using it just kind of as kind of my EDC storage, where my glasses and a uh, wallet and uh, uh, and uh, watch go, just for a case. You know, I, I might need to raise the TV a little bit. Uh, when I'm sitting down, you can see the corner of the monitor chops into it just a little bit. So we'll see how that goes, but I might need to uh, raise that TV. But then here on the opposite side, we have the new desk. Let me see if I can zoom out. No, I'm zoomed out all the way. Um, this is the desk that formerly was uh, with my computer here, and you can see that I have a, uh, a new custom uh, mouse pad that I thought was neat, and then this will be the background for my videos, and this contains a lot of my pen storage. Um, you can see I still have my Jackal's mug, and something a little special up here, besides my uh, Team U.S. hat, which, you know, we have the World Baseball Classic coming up, so go Team U.S. I have something special here, which you jackals might appreciate, which is a cue card from Wally. He has a little side business to where you can uh, have him make a cue card for you. And I just thought it was really cool to have kind of a professional cue card written. So eventually I need to get that uh, framed and up on my wall, but uh, it's something that I thought was a lot of fun. Uh, then over here, I did pick up a couple of new cases from Ikea. The top one is called the Alex. I think the bottom one is called the Alex as well, but it's just a different variation of that. Um, I know it's a little hard to see right now, but I think it's interesting because I had my two previous Alex cases and they look a little bit different in color. That's just because over the years, these have been exposed to sunlight. And so I just think how it's interesting how they kind of changed from a, a lighter bluish gray to a, a darker gray here over time. And then I have my Harbor Freight uh, toolbox, as well as my Toyo Craft uh, side desk. So let's go ahead and get the chair back in here. And I think I've been I was pretty pleased with the way everything turned out. And uh, I've been having fun with my new setup. So yeah, I'm pleased with how everything turned out. Uh, like I mentioned up top, it wasn't a massive makeover, but I think the addition of a few items and rearranging things made the office uh, a little bit more functional as well as more organized. It just looks and feels a lot cleaner in here, a lot less clutter. We'll see how long I can keep it that way. You know, and I hope that maybe you have gotten an idea or two of how you can better organize your own space at home.
A big thanks go out to FlexiSpot for providing the desk, which was the impetus for this renovation. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.